Hey guys, and welcome to this episode of the Bad Idea Bros. So in the last episode, you would have seen Chris and I taking the Kiwis out for a bit of a run, and that was so much fun. But uh, in reviewing the footage when I was doing the edit for that episode, I noticed that the uh, the little green Kiwi was looking a bit tired, a bit sad and sorry for itself. So that brings us today, guys. Uh, the plan is to basically give it a quick driveway refresh. Uh, nothing too dramatic, just a nice quick uh, rattle can paint job and tidy up a few loose ends on the bike. Um, nothing nothing major, just a nice quick one to make it look a bit better on film. So guys, uh, let's have a look at what we're doing. So guys, what you can see in front of you should be everything we need today. Uh, like I said in the first bit, there's nothing too crazy going on. We're going to refit the standard factory keyway suspension to the rear of the bike. Uh, we've got the original rear cover that we will be putting back on. And you can see that we're going to be uh, changing the colour of the bike to yellow. So we just wanted to do something a bit different. I've never seen a yellow keyway before, and I thought that might be uh, a nice little challenge today. So guys, that's got you up to date with uh, the plans for the bike today. Um, nothing really left to do, but enjoy the sun and start this build. Let's get into it. Okay, so we are going to start with the exhaust. You can see that it's all scratched up and it's starting to get a bit of surface rust. So we'll clean that off and we'll hit it with a bit of heat proof paint. Uh, well, from there we'll move on to the rear suspension. There's only four bolts, so it'll be a nice quick uh, changeover. And then we will start pulling off all the green panels to change the colour. Alright guys, so that's got the exhaust all sorted out and uh, you would have seen the suspension being changed as well. So two nice quick jobs that uh, have made a bit of a difference already. It is quick and nasty, but like I said, it's a rattle can uh, respray, so not expecting perfect results. But uh, next we will be pulling off all the coloured panels. So we've got uh, front guard, fuel tank, side covers and just on the ground there is the back fairing or seat cover. So we'll get those off, disassemble them as needed, mask up anything that needs masking and start sanding.
All right, guys, so there we have it. They are all the components that I'll need to uh, remove the stickers from, sand and spray. So that was nice and easy. Uh, it's obviously something we've done a couple of times now, and indeed, I think it was actually twice that we've given this uh, bike a touch-up. So hopefully third and final time, uh, for a while anyway. So guys, I'm uh, going to roll another time lapse. It's just sanding. It's not anything super exciting, but uh, we'll get these cleaned up and we'll uh, start putting some colour down. Guys, that took a heck of a lot longer than anticipated. Um, the front guard and the side panels, that rear cover, they all sanded really well. Um, nice and easy to sand. I wasn't expecting too much work, but man, Pablo, whatever that paint was that you put on the uh, back of the petrol tank there, holy crap, dude, that stuff is thick. Uh, most of the time sanding was spent on the petrol tank. Um, that wasn't fun, <laughs> but we're there. So um, we still got some daylight left, it's not too cold. So guys, I'm going to clean these up. Um, I use my usual mixture of myths and water. Um, so it just cleans up and it will um, dry out on its own. Once that's sort of soaked off, cleaned all the dust off, we'll start laying down color. guys as you can see from the bike over my shoulder I have definitely made a mistake here um, that yellow is all wrong for that bike it's not coming out the can the way I thought uh, when I started putting it down I had a bit of a panic moment because it was considerably lighter than I was expecting um, it actually looks a little better on camera than it is in real life but it's really pale um, it's like faded banana peel yellow it's not the color I'm after at all so uh, I guess it'll be a trip back to the paint shop um, I'll see if I can find something a bit more suitable and uh, once again, I'll sand and start spraying, I suppose. Let's uh, carry on, I guess.
have it guys, a bit of fiddly work, but I think the uh, process has worked out quite well and the results definitely speak for themselves. So as you would have seen, uh, the first colour that we put down, the first yellow, was definitely wrong for the bike, but uh, actually worked out well because that became the base and primer for the later coat of yellow that you see on the bike now. Uh, all the graphics, we've reproduced uh, some of the original Keyway stuff. Um, it's not perfect, but it's as close as we can get with what we've got. And obviously we've got all our Bad Idea Bros logos on it. And you'll see that the bike has been renamed Cherry Bomb. So guys, that's uh, pretty much everything that we're going to be doing to this one for now. Um, so why don't we take this thing for a test ride? Alright guys, now for the fun part. The test ride. So I've uh, brought you guys over to Sumner Beach, which is a nice little spot here in Christchurch. The goal is... Nope. There we go. The uh, goal is to continue off to the left there and we will head out over Edwards Pass and over into Littleton via the Sumner Road. Should be a good ride, it's one of my favourites. Let's do this thing. So just a bit of a tarmac cruise today guys, I don't feel the need to take this thing uh, belting off road straight away. Obviously it will uh, be used for that, she's pretty but she's not that pretty. So uh, yeah, should be a nice day for it, sun's out, the location's gorgeous, hopefully we don't have too much trouble with traffic but it's, uh, it's not a high speed road anyway so I'm going to flick the visor down and enjoy the ride. So there we have it guys, I would call that a successful run. I'm super happy with how the little bike's riding, I uh, wasn't expecting anything too untoward because we didn't really change anything mechanically other than obviously the suspension on the rear and that's a factory item so that was never going to be an issue. Uh, the exhaust still sounds really good, um, the heat treatment stuff stinks to start with it once you've ran it through a few times it sort of burns off the excess so that's to be expected but uh, very happy with how the bike looks. A little bit of work, a um, little bit of mucking around, but I think uh, overall it was definitely worth it. If you guys agree, let me know in the comments below. But I think that's going to do it for today, guys. So uh, I'm going to call the episode done, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.